okay friends welcome to my session on derivatives and we are going to look at uh, some of the instruments of derivatives that we can model on MATLAB so in MATLAB uh, the derivative toolbox focuses on the interest uh, rate derivatives and uh, it talks about bond uh, it talks about options, it talks about caps, fixed rate nodes, floating rate nodes, floats, swaps, swaption and callable and puttable bonds. So again a heavily uh, fixed income uh, based uh, toolbox here in MATLAB. So the first elementary step is to compute the discount factor because uh, multiplying discount factor to get the present value is an easier way of doing something so you don't have to use all the formulas of dividing it uh, by some number so to make life easy we use uh, the discount factor so we can get the discount factor by the function rate to discount uh, what we have to do is that we have to put compounding we have to put rate and date start at valuation date now to mind you uh, we are dealing with all of these things as matrix and arrays so on the right hand side we have uh, matrix of uh, rates and date start date which is a one dimensional matrix some of it would be single dimensional uh, single value matrix probably valuation date would be a single uh, element and compounding so uh, the input to this function could be uh, anything so uh, this function would convert all of these things into discount factors now when we talked about when we talk about a fixed rate on an interest rate swap so we know that the market has various uh, s spot rates so uh, when you plan to go into a swap or you want to compute the coupon that you should give the constant coupon that you should give for uh, say four uh, 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 four semi annual uh, uh, coupon so that would be uh, derived using uh, this formula so what this formula do does is that it gives you an equivalent uh, uh, equivalent amount that you should give as a fixed uh, coupon such that there is no possibility of arbitrage uh, for the uh, floating rate coupon so this is the way in which we calculate that coupon price that would uh, give us the arbitrage free price of a fixed uh, rate so that would be the fixed coupon that we can calculate now R1, R2, R3, R4 would be the spot rates of the four terms so interest rate swap is an agreement between two parties where one stream of uh, future interest payment is exchanged for other based on specific principal amounts interest rate swap often exchange a fixed payment for floating payment that is linked to interest rate most often it's the LIBOR LIBOR because it's uh, less than one year the company will typically use interest rate swap to limit or manage exposure to fluctuation in interest rate or to obtain a marginally lower interest rate than it would have been able to get without swap now uh, I'll, I'll not go into details of this model but uh, of course it's available on my website for you to check out it's uh, again from the help file of the MATLAB with some modifications so this is about the price cap instrument now we need to understand that uh, the interest rate instruments are based on the interest rate tree it is the same as the binomial tree uh, that we saw in the fixed income toolbox of MATLAB where uh, we d we uh, drew that path uh, of interest rates where interest rate would go up and down and how our bond would look like in the similar way we saw the co pricing of call and put option depending on how uh, the equity price would move up and down with the probabilities with uh, uh, with the help of that we calculated the call and the put prices so in the same way we need the interest rate tree so we try to move in on that tree and calculate uh, uh, the price of that instrument so <coughs> the hull white interest rate tree is an interest rate information that uh, that helps us to price uh, this uh, cap instrument so <coughs> without uh, getting into the complexities just observe what's uh, the what we are giving in the function and what we are getting out of the function we'll go into the details a little bit late uh, this is just to sensitize you about how things work so uh, the cap by hull white look at the nomenclature so we are finding out the cap instrument 
uh, by hull white model then we have the tree strike settle maturity reset basis principle and options suppose you want to price a uh, 3% cap instrument using a hull white interest rate uh, model then we have to load uh, the file in which we have the we have got the tree parameters <coughs> So the tree structure uh, contains the time and the interested information that we need to price this cap. The load command would bring everything into uh, the current workspace. So <coughs> this would be the strike settlement date maturity and we'll have uh, those interest rate tree that we have got into. So ju just have a broad look that uh, we have a tree, uh, we have the strike price, we have the settlement date, we have today's date and uh, how would we uh, price that instrument. Uh, no need to worry if you don't get the specific. Just uh, I want you to understand that there are functions uh, for the interest rate uh, computation for the computation of this price cap instrument. Uh, the function takes in some values which uh, are on the right hand side, which uh, includes the strike, settlement, maturity, and what you get on the left is the price and the price tree. Then there are various uh, Greeks uh, available on the sensitivities of put and call. So we have Delta, Gamma, Vega and all those Greeks which uh, we have on the equity options. And MATLAB gives you uh, an option to compute that by Black Scholes which is quite a simpler and intuitive thing. So we have that options as well. So all of the uh, Greeks are based on Black Scholes. So uh, binomial put and call pricing that that's an elementary way to look at things when we move into a more detail then we jump down to black shoals and we have computation of black shoals implied volatility elasticity black shoals put and call option pricing which is one of the most important things that we have the sensitivity to interest rate now we have sensitivities to time which is theta sensitivities to underlying price which is vega so we have got all these functions available to us by clicking on these links you can actually get the command that uh, that will help you to do this now when we move into the equity based derivatives which are more complex like asian option barrier option compound option loop back option and well in a stock options then uh, matlab gives you to actually use those uh, fragmented theories and research and uh, calculate the pricing i'm not going to get into details here right now I'm just going to introduce you to these functions uh, and uh, uh, probably get you a little idea of what could be done. The details about these uh, exotic uh, options you can get in from the FRM level 2 book which talks about these options. Then we can embed all these uh, derivative instruments into our portfolio so that uh, we can compute how our portfolio would look like. That's uh, that's a, that's a way to look uh, at it into from a portfolio perspective now the most important part here is to draw those interest rate models of how the interest rate would move in the future and we finally discount it along each of its path so medlab supports us with uh, some interest rate models namely the bdt that's the black derman toy the black karnasiki the heath harrow morton and hull white interest rate model so the <coughs> Heth Jero Morton, if I pronounce the name right, HJM, is one of the most widely used model. So most of these models use uh, volatility <coughs> of the forward rate to build a tree, and that tree is uh, the best guess to the evolution of interest rate uh, price based on uh, some statistical process. So suppose we uh, we build an interest rate model by this, you would observe that the interest rates were high before the recession. It uh, it came down during the recession and it has remained down and increasing very slowly after the recession so a model would also predict one something going down in the future and again coming up so that's an intuitive way or uh, uh, a more common sensical way to look into the same uh, process if you think it's uh, not working you are always uh, free to tweak your uh, uh, inputs and make it more sensible and uh, get uh, the best shot but these model use uh, are based on volatilities and the trend <coughs> so these are some of the other models uh, one thing we observe that all of these are based on the volatilities of the past 
so that uh, we add all these volatilities and we assume that uh, the disturbance are normally or log normally distributed or whichever distribution we feel uh, fits in best uh, we can also check uh, these things by backward induction and most of these are one factor uh, driven by a single source of randomness so that's uh, another thing now uh, the black uh, Kerasinki is uh, based uh, on this Brownian motion. Brownian motion is something you can assume as uh, everything has uh, a drift instrument and uh, a disturbance instrument. And they have assumed it, for it uh, follows a log normal distribution. So uh, uh, the, the interest rate moves uh, in a way such that they have got uh, a drift. Like drift means if they are going down for some time, they'll go down for some time and they'll have a disturbance based on the past volatility so that's how these uh, models are being put into ok look down here at the four commands price by zero, fixed by zero, float by zero and swap by zero so you can price the same instrument if you have the forward price, if you have the spot price if you have the uh, any kind of price you can convert them and you can price a float fixed or a swap by the z uh, by a set of zero curve so zero curves are uh, zero coupon and spot curves now most of the time we need the forward curves because for example if you want to plan that uh, what would the interest i play pay between the third and the fourth year or what interest i would pay b uh, like after three and a half years so you can uh, you can compute them you can use the spot curve and uh, go and compute uh, with the help of MATLAB those forward curves then you should know a little bit about these options uh, these are more custom options which uh, you can plan into <coughs> MATLAB gives you also some of the options to do these things by some other models than Black-Scholes this was a very basic uh, introduction to the derivatives in MATLAB I'll try to get in some programs in the next session and we'll try to have some hand-on examples so this works as just a very small introduction of what we are looking at in terms of the entire uh, uh, derivative uh, toolbox for MATLAB my, my, rate, my focus would be uh, to get you some simple programs on how to convert uh, the spot rate into forward rate how to uh, uh, use very simple sensitivity models like calculate Greeks for an equity based option and uh, things like that so I'll probably take them very soon in my upcoming sessions thank you for watching this very small video and best of luck with your preparations